hello welcome to my sitting room seen in videos such as hello and mukbang and i answer your questions so i thought i would um make this video more interesting by adding a q a segment so i've got questions here that i'm gonna answer Um, so I'm going into university, hopefully if I get the grades, please. Um, and I'm gonna do a four year course um, with a year in industry to hopefully give myself like a better chance of getting work after university. So my ultimate dream job is a forensic psychologist. It's just so interesting to me. Um, if I didn't um, have that as my job, um, I would have wanted to be a psychiatrist, um, but I don't want to go through med school to do that, so I don't know how viable that option would be. My favourite musical of all time is Hamilton, it always will be Hamilton, um, and yeah, I need to go see it again actually. Netflix original um, would be Stranger Things, and it's really funny because when it first came out, like, I hated it. I just couldn't get into it. And then I rewatched it again when uh, season four came out from the beginning and I was obsessed. Um, but if it wasn't a Netflix original, I've been really loving RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, I'm on the last season of um, the original American version and then I'm moving on to the UK and All Stars. Now, I'm not a religious person myself. Um, I guess when I was little, I was, I was a Christian, I guess, because that's I went to Church of England school, so you just kind of got taught it, and it was very drummed into you, like in assemblies and stuff, and you know you always had to say like prayers throughout the day and say grace before lunch and stuff. Um, but I find religion really interesting, and I like learning about different types of religions. Like, not for me, but like if if that's something you believe in, then I respect that. No. depends on the circumstance to be honest if it's like a bad negative loss as in like a toxic friendship or relationship I'd say uh, block them delete their number get rid of any photos um, that sort of thing just get rid of any trace of them in your life because you don't want to see something that reminds you of them and then it sort of doesn't help you get through it if it's like a loss in terms of like a family member or a friend or whatever um i just say the opposite keep those photos you know with you like all the time look through them remember stuff listen to songs that you listen to together watch their favorite show you know that sort of thing talk to talk to people the best thing is to reach out even if it's difficult like you're so much better um, equipped to get through stuff if you have someone um, like there to help you. I always wanted to do, um, what's the, the skydiving things, but not like from a plane. What, what are they called? You know the, the things where it blows the air up and you're like flying, those. Um, but I don't like heights, even though you're not that high, and I don't know, maybe I'll do it one day, but it just freaks me out a little bit. I don't go to Starbucks very often because I don't have one near me, but now I do. Um, uh, it recently got built, but I haven't been there yet. But I get a strawberries and cream frappuccino. If they don't have like the strawberry syrup, then I get a caramel frappuccino. I'd have to say Chinese. I love a Chinese takeaway. Um, or pizza, pizza's quite good. But yeah, I'd probably go for a Chinese takeaway over a pizza. I think like having confidence in my abilities and like the fact that I'm able to do stuff. Cause it's easy to just 
think that you're not good at stuff and you won't be able to do them but actually like for me personally I'm a lot better at things than I think so like academics I always like to call myself thick but um well I wouldn't I wouldn't get into a grammar school if I was thick I just uh lack the confidence in knowing that I have some sort of intelligence. Recently I found it really, um, well not really easy, but a lot easier to approach people with conversations because I find it really difficult to start conversations and like small talk and stuff, especially with like family members and that sort of thing. But I recently went to like a family gathering um, and I found it so much easier than normal to actually like talk to people. To be honest, it was a stressful time. Um, I guess I miss like seeing my friends every day because obviously I know it's the summer and I can like hang out whenever I want, but obviously people are busy, people are on holiday, people have plans with their family, people are doing other stuff. Um, but at school, like I was always guaranteed to see them unless they're sick, obviously, but I like, that was my favorite thing about school because I don't really enjoy school and I never really enjoyed school other than the aspect of seeing friends every day. Um, right now, I've been thinking about bubblegum squashies for the last two days and I could have gone out to get some, but I haven't. Um, so if someone could bring me them or send me them, that'd be nice, thank you. That's a difficult one. It, I guess it depends on the film because I like watching films at home because I can pause it and go and do something because I struggle to sit still. Um, and concentrate for like two hours, an hour and a half, however long it is. But also I like the experience of watching films at the cinema. Like, so I guess it depends on the film and how long the film is and like if I'm with friends and stuff. First and foremost, I'm grateful for my friends. I have really good people in my life right now. And like, that's always something like I appreciate. Um, what else am I grateful for? health i mean I've, I've got asthma so i'm not like that healthy but you know i'm not sick and even when i had covid i wasn't that sick so i'm just grateful for my health i guess um not really much else to be honest so this video is actually supposed to be part of the all-nighter video that i posted last week but it was gonna be too long so i've made it a separate video um hence why i'm doing the intro now but if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment any video suggestions, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.